So those chilly nights, pleasant afternoons, that's the name of the game. Uh, the forecast really every day this week, a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon and then a little bit colder Friday morning. That's the two biggest differences this week. Drier days are on the way. We are going to remain dry. The only chance of rain over the next, say, seven to ten days would be Sunday night into early Monday morning, but most of that rain is going to stay to our north and our east. What is on the way, though, a shot of even colder air on the way early next week. Some areas could be experiencing their first patchy frost. Yes, frost of the season. Temperatures out there right now, not quite frost uh, category, but uh, it is definitely chilly. 43 in Flemingsburg, 43 Richmond, Mount Sterling, Mount Vernon. Taking a look at some of the Mesonet sites, Kentucky Mesonets, we're at 41, one of the colder spots across the entire Commonwealth. Uh, there in Harrison County, same now in Bath County, Morgan, around Lewis, um, uh, Madison County also at 41. So we're seeing a lot more low 40s starting to show up. Pulaski County at 41, head to the mountains, Knox County 44, Breathitt County at 44, Knox County at 43, 43 in both Casey and McCreary counties there into southern Kentucky. Looking at Viper radar, conditions are dry. We are staying very dry, as I mentioned, uh, as high pressure is in control across the region. We're going to see that northerly wind continuing to this afternoon. Not as strong as yesterday, uh, so temperatures warm up just a touch. We hit 70 in Lexington today. I think 71, 72 are max temperature. Tomorrow morning, back to the 40s to begin the day, climbing into the low to mid 70s by the afternoon. Wednesday is going to be our warmest day in terms of the afternoon temperature of the week. Then by Thursday, we get this little bit of a weak backdoor boundary that tries to move on through out of the north and the east. What that's going to do is increase our northeasterly breeze, knock our temperatures down a little bit, upper 60s near the low 70s for your Thursday afternoon. And then with that drier, cooler air arriving for Friday morning, I think that's going to be our coldest morning of the week, falling into the low 30s, excuse me, low 40s with some low uh, upper 30s possible into some of those valleys. We start to warm up a little bit though by the weekend. Saturday, we're going to be making a run at the upper 70s, stay warm for the weekend. Then that front moves through late weekend and that's going to drop our temperatures for next week. I mentioned we're going to stay dry. This is the rainfall forecast through the next seven days. Most of that rain staying well to our east. I want to give you another update on Milton. The 5 o'clock advisory does have this storm as a Category 4 system. Right now it's undergoing eyewall replacement cycle, so that its maximum winds are weaker at the moment, but it's going to re-strengthen, go through another eyewall replacement cycle, and the winds are going to extend. We can see for, uh, hurricane force winds extending the entire stretch of this forecast cone. Remember, the forecast cone just shows where the center of the system could be. We could see the hurricane to tropical storm force wind gust extending much further out from the center of the system than it is expected to re-enter the Atlantic and head way out to sea. So good news, it's not going to be providing too many impacts uh, for areas outside of Florida and Georgia coastline and same with South Carolina. For us here locally, more sunshine and feeling great today. Tonight we're going to be falling into the 40s, mostly clear skies and chilly temperatures overnight. And there's a look at your full seven day forecast. We've got nice conditions on the way this week, uh, warming up a little bit by Saturday. Kentucky hosting Vandy. Should be a beautiful day if you're going to spend the day at Keeneland and head to the football game Saturday night.